In this video, I'll show how to manage ESXi services with Power CLI. In the web management interface, I can manage services by clicking on Manage in the side navigator and selecting the Services tab. Then, I'll select the service I want to manage and click the Start or Stop button to start or stop the service. If you want to have the service start automatically upon system boot up, click the Actions button, go down to Policy, and check Start and Stop with Host. To manage the host services in PowerCLI, I'll first start PowerShell Core by typing PWSH into the terminal. In this case, I'm using PowerShell Core 7.2.1 on macOS. First, I need to connect to the ESXi host by typing connect-vi-server and then the IP address or hostname of the ESXi host. Since I didn't supply the credentials already, I'll need to enter the username and password. Managing host services are done through five commands. Get VM host service outputs general information about host services. Start, stop, and restart VM host service will start, stop, or restart the host service. And set VM host service will configure the service policy. I first want to find out which service is running on the host. I can see the SSH service is not running and its policy is off, which means I must start and stop the service manually. I'll be using SSH for future configurations, so I'm going to start the service and set the policy to start with the host on boot. If I try to simply use start vm host service to start the service, I'll get an error. The error tells me that I've supplied the service as a string and not the host service object type that's required for the start vm host service input. Now think of strings as like plain old text, but this is not the object type that I need. So how do I get the correct object type? I need to retrieve it with get VM host service, but then filter to only the SSH service by using where object. The property will be key and key will be equal to TSM SSH. By placing the whole line in parentheses, I can then use dot get type open close parentheses to show that the object type is the kind that I'm searching for. Now add a pipe and the start vm host service to start the service. The output shows it's running, and the web interface shows it's running as well. I can confirm by SSHing into the host. If I stop the service, I can no longer connect via SSH. Piping the object to set vm host service will allow me to set the policy. And with the policy parameter, I have three options automatic, on, and off. Now, these are labeled a bit differently in the web interface, but they correspond directly. In the web interface, start and stop with firewall ports corresponds to the automatic policy in PowerCLI. Start and stop with hosts corresponds to on, and start and stop manually to off. If I set the policy to on, I can see that the web interface shows start and stop with host. I'll start the service for use in the next phase of my configuration. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something.